Welcome to Yokomo, an ETS online course on a competence-based development for youth workers. Welcome. I'm Nerus, one of the creators of the online course on competence-based development for youth workers. I would like to introduce to you Council of Europe Youth Work Portfolio, which is an online tool to self-assess youth work competences and plan professional development. This tool helps analyze where you stand with your youth work competences, to gather evidence on the quality of your work and identify areas where you want to improve. It also should help you to explain better your work and showcase competences to others. To start using a portfolio, you will be requested to register to Council of Europe system and create an account for portfolio. Once you will log in, you will access your portfolio area. It is divided into two sections. One is self-assessment and the other one is learning and development plan. Uh, you can download both in printed uh, versions if you prefer first doing it offline and then adding uh, uh, to online system as you wish. I would recommend to start from self-assessment. The portfolio is structured along the functions of youth worker and linked to competences required to perform these functions in a daily uh, work with young people. It may look lengthy, but worth going uh, through all the areas of uh, functions and uh, self-assessing your competences. You can do uh, an area at any time. So you may start with one, have some time, reflect, uh, do self-assessment, and then continue to the next one another time. So you're free to choose from where to start and how much you want to do at once. Uh, the, each area will have several competences listed. Inside, once you get, you first ask to, uh, about to what extent this competence is relevant to your specific youth work context. And then explain a little bit to yourself why you chose uh, the certain level of relevance and then continue to uh, self-assessment of that specific competence. The scale is pretty straightforward. It's from one to five. You choose thinking about your daily work practice, uh, best to uh, uh, re re relate to what you do as behavior in that specific area of competence. You may add description of uh, specific examples, how you perform uh, in that competence area and uh, also indicate should you want to learn something to improve that competence. The portfolio is working in such a way that you will be encouraged to add uh, text reflections because first of all this tool is meant to help you to become more aware of your competences and uh, therefore it is requiring you to add a little bit of reflection to see the progress in self-assessment. So once added, you will see that uh, the marking shows that particular competence was visited and self-assessed and the progress bar will indicate how many of competences in a specific function area you completed and uh, how many are left. Uh, you can also add uh, your function which is specific to your context or uh, job. It's uh, following the same structure as uh, already pre-loaded competences and functions so that you could do self-assessment on the areas which maybe are not included in portfolio currently. Once you are done with a number of uh, areas, you can come to dashboard and then continue to learning and development plan. Uh, the plan is structured following the same logic as self-assessment. It has uh, functions and then list of competences. Uh, if you already indicated something you want to learn, it will instantly show up on a plan and you can make it more specific by adding uh, concrete actions you want to take to achieve a bit of improvement or learning in that selected area of competence. You also may decide due date and add anything else relevant to uh, this uh, 
plan. So it could be a, a reference link to some material or maybe a video or maybe a course which you want to attend to improve specific competence. Once done, click next and then you will be uh, moved forward to another competence. You can also skip and go to the specific area function and specific competence you want to add your learning plan. Once done with your learning plan, you can return to a dashboard and generate a instant snapshot of that uh, moment. I previously generated one for self-assessment, so it shows date and uh, status of my self-assessment of uh, competences I made. And uh, that time I didn't have plans to learn, so that's why it's showing empty. But second time I was doing it, I already included also learning and development plan. So it becomes accessible for you to revisit anytime you want. And you can generate as many versions as you deem necessary. This is a Council of Europe youth work portfolio. Thank you. We hope this video contributed to you learning about the competence-based development for youth workers. 